Hi everybody, my name is Aton and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Today I will be showing you some basic black and white to color conversion. Now, this can be done in Photoshop and there are many more, I, I guess, realistic ways of doing this, but this is probably the least time consuming and still gets the idea across generally well. So I'm just going to be showing you how to do this. So this is the before and then this is the after. So pretty big difference and it definitely I mean it definitely helps it's obviously not perfect but it's it's usable so we can go into a composition with now we're gonna have our fresh image and what I have open here on top of it is just a picture with some sort of skin texture and this I'm gonna use for picking some of the colors that I'm gonna overlay onto Mr. Lincoln's face and so I have this um, this layer sort of on top. This is the skin layer. I'm just gonna there skin. And so that's open here in our composition tab. And then next, would I have the layer tab open? That's what comes up when you double click on something, and you need that to paint. So now that we have our skin texture sort of over here, and our actual thing that we're working on over here, we can get started. So I'm gonna go over to this paintbrush tool right here and so now we're gonna pick a color so I'm gonna use this eyedropper tool to pick one of these colors I'll go for something a little on the darker side somewhere around there that looks about good and then we can just start brushing it on so we notice immediately that it's too bright and this could be for a variety of different reasons but the first thing I'm gonna try to do is switch the blending mode so I'm going to just try setting it to linear light, and I'm overall much happier with this result. You can really just end up playing with these blending modes to get something you like. Also, the opacity is going to make a big difference. If I was going 100 versus, say, 30, that's probably going to be a little better. The thing is, this sort of is, this is a weaker... Um, a weaker blending mode. It doesn't really take into the take into account the detail quite as well. So I might actually go back to Vivid Light and play with some of the other stuff. I really like how this handles some of the detail. Okay, so here we can just play with the opacity. So I'll just turn down the opacity so it's not quite as bright. So somewhere around there. That's pretty good. Okay. And then down here we have our brushes, so we can change how big the brush is. And then the other thing we're going to need to worry about is the hardness. So the lower this number is, the softer your brushes. Think of it as more feathered. So I'll keep this for now around 30. And then if you by any chance don't have these open right now, I'm using the workspace for paint. But if you don't want to open that up, you just want to keep your standard interface, you can just open up brushes and paint and those are the two that we need right here so now we can actually get started painting so make sure it fills the screen and then just sort of paint away make sure you go sort of around the eyes I try to avoid the eyes generally and then the mouth too we'll just go around that and color that separately so the brush I'm using is a bit on the small side but I'm not gonna stop now because I would have to redo everything and this is just for the sake of the tutorial so it doesn't have to be perfect it's technique that counts and so you guys can do a better version of this later okay so we have the basic idea we're getting in a little skin tone here this is a bit on the soft side probably just color wise there's not a ton of color going on here so again you can play with the blending mode the color but we're just gonna keep going so next thing I'm gonna do is the eyes I have no idea what color Lincoln's eyes are so I'm gonna make them green I always think Lincoln should have green eyes so I'll turn down the dia diameter because we're working with a smaller area so this looks about right and then I'm just gonna sorta of go around here so it looks extremely bright here but when we zoom out it actually doesn't look incredibly Right, I'm actually going to control Z to undo that and turn down the opacity a little more because it is a little bright, but 
still what looks bright here is a lot less noticeable in the finished picture. So here we go. I guess you have a changing eye color tutorial also in addition to this, so yeah. Okay, next thing we're going to do is the mouth. So pick sort of a pinkish color. That looks about good. And right here, this blending mode just isn't going to work. It's too bright and then dramatic contrast contrast to the dark. So I'm going to switch it to something like linear burn. And this gives a light sort of color overlay in general. And because the skin is on the lighter side, we're going to keep this on the lighter side so they sort of match. But a little more probably couldn't hurt. Okay, so that's looking decent. Now we're going to go over the background, and as we go over the background, we'll also sort of pass over his suit area, and that'll just give it a little sort of texture. So for this, make the brush really quite big, and then um, set the, round, uh, sorry, the hardness to zero, and so that's really going to keep a very soft look overall. And then just set whatever color you want the background to be, the sort of tone of the image. So I'm going to do sort of a light blue there. And there we go. I like the way that texture is just sort of rolling on there, enhancing what's there. So here it's okay if you overlap a, a little, especially around, like, side of the head and stuff. And then I'm actually going to go on to the suit and just give it a little texture, flavor, wonderful okay so this is looking pretty good these ears now are looking way too blue so we're just gonna come in here bring this down and we can bring the hardness up a little bit it's still too big that's probably good and then I'm just gonna take sort of a color in the same range as this except a little stronger and then I'm gonna gonna I'm gonna go over the ear sort of area, just make it a little less blue. Okay, so you can see in just a few minutes we've already sort of done a basic colorization of this. So now if you want to go on to his bow tie, you can make that a color and enhance little details. And I know this general skin tone is a bit on the bright side, so that doesn't look quite as good as my original demo. But by playing with it, you can get some really interesting results. And so, I mean, really, you'd have to do pretty much painting to get the photorealistic result like you might see in some professionally retouched pictures. But this should give you a basic usable result just to give a little color easily to some old black and white pictures. So, thank you for watching this After Effects tutorial. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I will try to get back to you. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something.